What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. We're gonna talk about the top three coverages you must be using in Madden 24 in order to get more stops. Now it's no secret that corners, crossers, streaks, and posts are the meta. After all, they're the meta every year. I know a lot of you have reached this video because you're more of a casual or a beginner looking to try to figure out how to get more stops in this game. Let's start off first and foremost with our primary coverage. And this is going to be the cover four drop. Now, yesterday I did an entire video video dedicated to this. I'm going to go through this quickly because I have two more coverages I want to break down for you guys. Now, before we get into the actual setups for today's video, I want to make sure that you guys have at least two deep out KOs. This is very important. It's the bare minimum you need to play better defense in Madden. Let's get into our first coverage, and this is going to be the cover for drop. Basically, with this, we are going to make sure that our deep out KOs are the outside corner positions. Now, the value of this is that anytime you face a corner, whether this is spread or compression-based offenses, you are going to have this KO that can make a break on these throws to the sideline. So even if I'm running a streak, you will see here that these guys have eyes in the back of their head. They can break on these throws and cause these knockouts. So again, with this coverage, your outside corners specifically have this ability because they can defend a streak down the sideline, but have eyes in the back of their head to be able to break on these throws and cause these players to drop the ball. Very, very simple. That is our first coverage. You guys can live in this and make your opponent have to kind of methodically drive up the field to be able to sustain their drives a lot of players are not patient enough to do so before we get into our second coverage please do me a favor make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit that notification bell and drop a like on this video i really appreciate all the support you guys have been providing here on the channel this year all those likes help push this video out in the youtube algorithm and i'll be hanging around after this video for the first half hour if you guys have any questions about madden 24 drop those below and i'll help you out now the cool thing about our next coverage is that you guys can either call Call this out of the cover four drop contain or you could go ahead and call this out of a cover two base defense we're actually going to be setting up mabel now mabel is probably the most common coverage that you guys will see and for this to work you're going to want to make sure that you set your zone drops 30 yard flats five yard purples with this particular style of video some of you that are more advanced players you already know this but for a lot of players out there that are casual beginner level players they don't really understand what they are facing online or what players are running these are base basic defenses that will help you when mixed up very consistently to get more stops. Now with this particular coverage, you are going to move your deep out KOs off of those outside corner positions and you're going to put them up top the reason for this is that we're actually going to set up what is kind of a cover two shell so with this you're basically going to move those players up top and you're going to go ahead and just use regular pick artists or lurk artists on the outside now the reason that you would want to run a mabel coverage is a little bit more complicated to kind of simplify it a street corner combo on the short side of the field is very very prominent in madden players will spam this against regular zone to open up the sideline and if you don't have that ko ability that I just showed you in the cover four, you see that that throw is something you can complete. And then on the wide side of the field, you could run this same route combo with a spread out formation where you use the outside receiver to run off the deep zone. And again, if that's not a KO, then they're gonna be able to throw that corner. So you see in this example, B runs off the coverage and then I can throw the corner out underneath of it and there's no break on ball. This is where the Mabel style coverage comes into play because what we are going to do is change our outside corners into the 30 yard clouds. We're gonna leave those purples underneath at five, and then we are going to set up our safeties into deep halves. Now, as you can see, if you guys are doing this out of cover four, this requires that you make four changes to your coverage. Some of you guys may actually feel a little bit easier doing this out of a cover two, because all you have to do is change your slot corners into purples to make this work. Now. Again, the types of hooks that you have in the middle of the field might differ. You might go ahead and just change these to hook curls if you want to, or use are the one that you prefer. Either way, with this particular coverage, once you get into this, you're gonna notice that these 30 yard blues do a really good job anytime your opponent is spamming a corner route and you can't actually stop it. This will actually help you as well if they're still throwing corners in your deep out KOs don't get there. You see right here, I've got this 30 yard blue and you see that I'm able to drop to that depth and Randy Moss is able to get his lurk artist animation 
completion, sinking under it for an interception. This is something that is very important. You need to learn how to mix these in quite often against players who know what they're doing. Now, before we get into our third coverage, I do want to remind you, if you guys are running a 30-yard blue, and we've talked about this before in some of our important defensive tip videos, you always want to make sure that your 30-yard blues are backed up. If Randy Moss is up in press alignment, he is not going to be able to get to this corner route. So you want them off the ball so they can sink underneath these throws and make the play on the ball. Again, if they're pressed up, they're going to drop too slowly. The corner is going to get behind them regardless. So if you're out there running this coverage on a press setting and giving up corners, this is why. Before we get into our final coverage, I want to let you guys know that if you guys head over to gridirongameplans.gg, I have broken down a brand new coverage tip. This is something not a lot of players know about in Madden. You guys can check the January vault. This is going to kind of change the way your underneath zones play in a cover two base defense. You guys can unlock the entire website for just 995. That's over 190 vault tips, nine offensive and defensive game plans, and a members only Discord channel where we have lab sessions every single Wednesday. So that would be tonight. If you guys want to attend the lab session, we'll be going live at seven o'clock Eastern time hop in our discord and the reason you should check the vault is because our last tip is going to be based out of a cover two defense for this to work you are going to want to turn your zone drops back to default and you're going to want to turn match on this is the most advanced coverage we're going to break down with this you're going to want to find a three safety rule package depending on the formation you're in it will have a different name in dollar this is called the safeties package. In Big Nickel over G, there are already three safeties on the defense stock, so you don't have to do anything. If you're in another nickel set, such as nickel over, you're gonna be looking for free safety one inside. If you're in the nickel three, three, you're gonna be looking for some sort of safety nickel or free safety inside package. Depending on what you guys are looking at, they will all have different names, but they all kind of tell you what they're doing. They're putting a third safety on the field in the nickel spot. So let's go ahead and go back to dollar. With this tip, again, you're gonna want to make sure that your deep out KOs, those two deep out KOs, always important you put them in the right spot, are up top. And the reason that we're going to do this is we're gonna talk about coverage rolls. Now, coverage rolling is very necessary because there are gonna be times where you have to be able to get to a corner out. And what the three safety package or the safeties package does is it changes the hot routes for your safeties on the field. You'll note that I get these unique adjustments where I have middle third, outside third, deep halves left and right, outside third to the other side, mid read and blitz. Basically what a coverage roll looks like is this. When you run this, you're gonna take your safeties and roll them from the weak side of the formation. As you see, we got four receiving threats to the right of the field and one to the left. We're gonna roll those safeties from the solo side to the quad side, which allows us to kind of play more underneath zones on this side of the field. This is really valuable because if your opponent is throwing routes underneath of your deep outside third, we can have basically a cloud flat that will sit underneath. So you can, you know, change your soft squat into a cloud flat and this will be fine. This also allows you the ability to kind of set up your Mabel with this as well. You could have a purple zone and a blue and lurk on this player if you wanted to. So you could, in theory, set your zone drops back to the 30 and five and add in this particular coverage rotation over the top. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it very, very difficult for your opponents to throw some of these other routes. Realistically, this is the best way to counter people who get corners open no matter what. If you guys can't use the deep out KOs in the cover four, if you guys can't get Mabel coverage to stop it, this outside third adjustment safety is perfect because he stays over the top of everything in this particular formation and can break on the corner route that is basically going to Larry Fitzgerald right here, the deeper of the two. Meanwhile, we're in a good spot where we can kind of play uh, basically either the matching coverage off of this or we can mix in Mabel. But those are the three coverages you must run in Madden 24. You can base out of any of these. If you feel comfortable with the Mabel, go ahead. There's plenty of players that love to. If you guys want to sit in the cover four, just kind of play the good run fit and make your opponent have to dink and dunk up the field, that's great. But then when you start to run these outside third rotations, that's going to add in another element that your opponents will have to worry about. If you mix these three coverages up very well your opponents will have a hard time moving the ball and you don't have to work too darn hard to get more stops against passers in madden 24 but that is today's video guys again if you guys want help with madden 24 drop a comment below i'll be hanging out after the video goes live to help you guys with whatever comes you, my, to help you guys out with whatever comes my way i hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you guys tomorrow until then this is ann get in the lab and good luck